Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankaj Rai, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can add Cloudfire Store to your Android app built with Jetpack Compose. Well, Cloudfire Store is a highly scalable and real-time database, whereas Jetpack Compose is the next generation UI toolkit. In this video, let's see how we can use both of them together. So first, switch to Gradle and add the dependency for the Fire Store. Also, do remember to create project on Firebase first and add the JSON file in the app directory. Also, because we are going to follow the MVVM architecture, so I have added the dependency for the view model. Now, let's switch back to the main activity. This is the place where we are going to create the UI elements, which are nothing but the composables. But before coming to the composable, Let's create the view model repository. So let's create the repository first. Let me create a package as repo, and inside this, we'll create books repo because we are going to fetch the list of books available on the Cloudfire store. So I've already added few of the books record. We are just going to fetch those records. Let's create an object of file store. Firebase Firestore instance. Then we'll create a function say get book details. Now the major factor here is we need to send data from repo to view model, then view model to UI. So how do we are going to send data from this repo to the view model? For that we are going to use callback flow. Now, let's create an object of collection. So, firestore.collection, I have all the records inside books collection, so I'm giving path as books. Now, I'm going to add a snapshot listener. So, let's create an object of snapshot listener. collection dot add snapshot listener which is going to return value and error add snapshot listener so using this we attach the real time listener which means that if any record inside this books collection changes this will get triggered so that we could update the content on the ui so by this way we get the real time changes but if this flow is no longer subscribed, if there's no subscriber attached to this, then we should also remove the snapshot listener. We could use await close. This will get triggered once the subscriber is removed. So now we could say snapshot.remove. Inside this add snapshot listener, we could say offer. And inside this offer, we could pass value and error both or just value. If you need to pass value and error both, then I would say create a sealed class and pass on the sealed class object from here. But for simplicity, I'm just passing value object from here. So that's it. Our books repo is ready. Now let's create the view model. So we'll create a package view model. Inside this, let's create books view model. So we are going to get the repo object through the constructor. So let's create a constructor parameter books repo and extend this class with view model. Now we can create a function say get books info then we could say books repo dot get books details so that's it for our view model a single function get books info is sufficient for us because this in turn is going to call get book details which eventually returns the flow object now let's switch to our main activity 
But before I create the composable, the one thing which I'm going to create is the view model factory. So let's create a class. Let me name this as book view model factory, which will take an object of books repo. So the prime reason of doing this is we need to pass books repo to our view model as a constructor parameter. So that's why we are creating the factory class here. This will extend view model provider dot factory. And then from this create method, we can return by doing a check that whether this model class is assignable from the books view model class. If this is true, then we could return books view model with books repo as t. Otherwise, we could throw an exception as illegal state exception. So that's it. Our books view model factory is ready. Now let's create the composable. We'll say books info list. Then we'll also create the books view model instance view model. It provides us with a factory parameter. That's the place we are going to call this class with books repo object. Finally, now we can call this method get books info. So we could say books view model dot get books info collect as state with some initial value. So let's say initial value as null. Let me also create an object for this query snapshot because we are talking about query snapshot. So let's extract the value using dot value. Now we could say that if query snapshot is equals to null, then we could say like no records are found or query snapshot dot is empty is equals to true. If any one of this is true, then return no records are found. We could simplify this by calling is empty. That's it for this video. If you want to see the complete implementation of this, then do check out the link provided in the description below. Thank you and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.